Hello world, this is Project 99. Today, I'd like to show you a couple of things that I have set up on my computer to work efficiently, working with Storyline and JavaScript. You don't really need everything that I'm showing you today. You can pick and choose whatever tools you use, but I'll walk you through what I have on my computer set up. Here's the JavaScript. Uh, it doesn't show you any errors. It doesn't show you any hints. Um, this is really just for copy pasting things when you're really sure um, of how to write. So generally, I don't write code here um, from scratch unless it's very simple. Again, I know it, it's going to work. Basically, you can use any text editor to write JavaScript. What I would suggest is something that knows the syntax. So I'm using Sublime Text. This is a tool that understands JavaScript. It's the same code as in Storyline, uh, yet it's much more readable. So when you do a curly bracket, it actually creates you two, so you know where to write. And you don't forget about it. So again, Sublime Text is a good one. If you don't want to go hard code, um, you can also use uh, Notepad++. Generally, what you would do with this program here is that you would run it in the browser, or you mean Storyline, you put it in Storyline, you publish it, you, pub you publish it, you look at it in the browser. When you look at it, you might get an error, like um, there's a syntax error somewhere. So you have to go back, find that line, check what is in that line, maybe you can fix it, you fix it, you republish it, you check it again, you refresh your browser, and it goes on and on until um, you're done. Now, if you're a genius, you write script with no errors, but I've never met anyone who could do that. So what happens is that you spend a lot of time on bug fixing. Most of the time, um, and most of the time, these bugs are coming out after you're publishing, you refresh, you publish, this is your um, general life cycle. A lint is a program that actually does warn you about these bugs, potential bugs, before even you publish. So let's say let's say this is my my um, code in JavaScript. I have this variable here, my text, and I want this text to be "Hello World." Then I write this cycle. Don't worry about it if you don't understand the code, but generally um, you learn somewhere that there's a cycle, and it's gonna go um, from zero, one, two, and so basically three times. Repeat this little thing here. So three times we're gonna show alert. Um, show some pop-up window. We're going to show it hello world. What we're trying to do is show a um, pop-up window that's going to say hello world zero and then when you click on OK, hello world one and then hello world two. So this is our our um, objective. If you <clears throat> put this in, an, if you put this in, in Storyline and then publish and you run it, you get all, you get all kinds of errors. Then you would troubleshoot one by one, and um, it would take you probably take you a long time to fix this thing. There's a lot of things problem with this one. So a lint <clears throat> like this, this is gsjavascripthint.com. What it allows you to is actually um, shows you all the warnings that might happen. So here, what I can do is simply hover over these problems, and the number one was unclosed string. Another closing string here. So now it's in in. Uh, this string is now this string is fixed. And I can see there's no more errors here. So now I can copy paste this into Storyline, publish it, and at least I don't have errors. Uh, it might not do actually what I wanted to do, but at least it doesn't have errors. So this is a lint <clears throat> program. Um, again, it's called JS Hint. Um, it's completely free. 
you just go to the site, type in or copy paste your um, JavaScript program and then see what kind of uh, warnings you might end up with here on the site. So JS Hint is a good one. So, so far you write this code in something like a, a Sublime Text text editor and then pop it in here to see if there's any code before you publish it. That helps you um, a lot, especially if you have long lines of code. Now, the third one, <clears throat> um, the third tool that um, I'm using often is another um, online tool called um, JS Fiddle, JavaScript Fiddle. If you like fiddling, um, this is a very useful tool. This is going to be your HTML. This is going to be your site content. <clears throat> So this is basically what you would see um, in the web page. You um, look at the source code. This is the JavaScript part. This is where you have your um, JavaScript code. And this is your CSS, so basically the styling of what it, what it should look like. <clears throat> Again, so the content of, of this site comes from um, the HTML, what it looks like, comes from the CSS and what it does comes from the JavaScript part. So this example is um, about adding two numbers and it tells you which one is bigger. So on my machine, I actually have a web server installed. So this, this is a local web server that runs um, JavaScript just like any other um, real servers out there that you upload and run um, websites. I can test things locally. I don't have to upload them to somewhere else. Locally, you can change things. You can fiddle with the code and just refresh the browser and run it again. You don't have to upload them again, wait and um, waste time. Later on, I'll show examples when we use, when we load XML files. Uh, for example, this program reads a local file and loads um, external content from an XML file. It would not work on your local drive. In this case, it, in this case, it's, it's running on a local web server, just like a normal web server. So when you access that file, it reads it from the web server itself and allows you to, to test things that otherwise you would have to upload um, every time to some kind of online server. So that means I can fiddle with the code and with one refresh, um, I can test it, test it over and over again without republishing, without uploading it to some somewhere on somewhere on the web, without uploading it to the cloud, waiting for that, change it, uploading it again, and it saves you a couple of minutes. That adds up. All right, so these are the tools um, that um, that I use for writing, troubleshooting, and publishing. <laughs>